Howdy YouTube, Zato here. Today we are going to be playing Steam World Dig. It's a very interesting little game I just picked up. Where the men, men, actually they're robots, and so are the women, and so are all the imps. So is everything. Everything's a robot, but country style. It's old West. Steampunk. All that stuff. So let's go ahead and give this a try. See what we think. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a new game here. Wish I had a jaw like that. Now this I'm familiar with. The ground typically cracks when I walk anyway. Because I'm fat. So the basic gist here is that uh, you're a robot cowboy and your uncle has died and left a mine to you. Now, I've heard this game described as sort of a combination of Terraria meets Metroid, and I really don't think that's particularly accurate. Anybody familiar with um, Minor Dig Deep? It's a little indie title that came out on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. If you're familiar with that, then you're going to feel right at home with this game. Wired old pickaxe. What are we gonna do? We're gonna dig. Now there is some platforming to it too, but uh, the digging really is the key thing here. Okay, so she's telling me it's time for me to start digging. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. And the big things you're looking for when you're digging are uh, minerals. Things that uh, you can sell in order to upgrade your equipment, upgrade yourself. You know, you are a robot, so upgrading yourself is completely within the realm of possibility. Jumping definitely comes in handy. You know, I always wonder where the concept of wall jumping came from. You know, aside from people you occasionally see doing parkour, you really, you know, I don't know when you would use that type of skill. Say the wall jumping here is obviously different than it would be in real life. You're not jumping from left to right to you know, kind of balance yourself and using your momentum to keep you up. You're just basically kind of doing magic here. <laughs> oh, here we are, back in the town of Tumbleton. Dorothy. Dorothy the robot. Mr. McCrank. Yeah, 
And of course, this wouldn't get, be complete without a robot hooker. Well, much as I'd like to spend a lot of time with the uh, robot hooker, I think I'm going to go back down to the mines. Do a little bit of digging. And Miner Dig Deep, I kind of developed a system on how I would dig my mines so as to keep myself from getting trapped. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit more difficult here, because there's obviously a lot I cannot knock my way through at the moment. I'll make it work, though. Now, these starter enemies, you'll notice they uh, kind of locked in the ground right to begin with. Uh, your proximity is what triggers them to, I guess, wake up. You got a little bit of time before they wake up, and uh, once they do, well, you know, they're not overly hostile unless you get too close. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm messing with my system already. Games like uh, like Terraria, where really the you know what shines is the uh, the combat, and the exploration, and it, it you know you can mine in Terraria, and that's a huge part of it. But that tends to take a backseat to the other things you do in the game. Whereas here, obviously, everything sort of takes a backseat to the mining. Now this game appeals to me. In virtually every MMO I ever played, I would always be a miner. That was that was always my trade, was to be a miner. I don't know why, it just always appealed to me. Uh, maybe I've just got some, uh, you know, some distant mining family members that uh, maybe, uh, maybe the mines are in my blood. Or maybe I like the idea of just digging stuff up and getting paid for it. Ah, time to get an upgrade. Yay! I've unlocked Sharp Pickaxe. Well, I don't have much choice. Let's go for the Sharp Pickaxe. And obviously, the further down you go, the uh, the harder it's going to be to mine. You can see now, though, that sharp pickaxe really helps. Precious the minerals are, the more they're going to be worth, the more you can upgrade, and so on and so forth.
And it really feels kind of a, a vacancy that was left for me once I got rid of my Xbox. Uh, Miner Dig Deep, as simple as it was, was really a game I just absolutely loved on the Xbox. And in all honesty, I think it's the only game I actually missed when I got rid of my Xbox. And it's a simple title. I mean, you can pick it up in the uh, in the uh, indie arcade. I forget exactly what it's called on the Xbox, but you can pick it up in their indie arcade for like a dollar or two. I mean, it's next to nothing. But I mean, you you get more than your money's worth for it. You know, if you have an Xbox and this game seems at all appealing to you, um, but you're maybe not so big on the combat side of things, then that might be a game for you to look into. Dorothy says she found a cave. Okay, my wife actually found a link for the uh, for the game, so uh, I'll be sure to post that in my uh, in the little section below the video. And it is a dollar, so I mean that's a hell of a deal. This right now is available on Steam. Uh, I think regular price it's nine ninety nine, and uh, right now there's a twenty percent off sale, so you can get it for seven ninety nine. Uh, keep in mind it just came out on December fifth, so that sale's not going to last very long. Okay, let's see here. I could pick up some ladders, but right now that would kind of be a waste of money. I think I'll save up. See, as long as I'm making a tunnel that's kind of straight down, I can use the wall jumping to keep myself from taking any fall damage. And it means I really don't need the ladder. Sadly, there's still stuff I can't find my way through. Oh, too slow. That one I got him before he managed to crack himself out. Now these stones here you have to be very, very wary of, because when you dig out from underneath them, they, uh, well, they fall down. And that will crush you. And being crushed to death is no fun. So I hear. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is and just haven't tried it yet. Not that I'm encouraging anyone to, you know, get crushed to death. Absolutely not. I would never encourage such a thing. But if you do, put it on YouTube. in hell for that. <laughs> and I think we found that cave Dorothy was talking about. Let's see what we have here. Ah. It seems like a different type of ground that, uh, starts to break apart, but it comes back. Interesting. Oh. Let's see here. Is there anything up here? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh! Gotta be careful. In case you can't tell, the actual platforming part, I'm not particularly good at. Oh! Got damaged. And smart. Awesome. I'm hurting myself. That's great. What do we have here? Oh! Speed boots. Hey! Back up. 
comes in handy. get to, but uh, I'm likely to kill myself if I try. <laughs> oh, about time to head back to the surface. Sell what I've got. Now something that does happen, if you look up in the upper right hand corner, you see the little fire icon, that indicates how much light you generate. And that does diminish over time. Basically, you uh, start running out of your internal fuel. And it's replenished automatically every time you go back to the surface. Relatively sure there are toddlers more coordinated than I am. The first thing that happens is I get on the surface and they start looking at my feet. That's not weird at all. Bunch of robot foot fetishes. And let's see here. Telling me there's more stuff deep down in the caves. Interesting. Ah. Well, I've got lots of upgrades available to me. But I think we're going to go ahead and call it on this one. Give you a chance to try it out for yourself and see what you think. Uh, me, personally, I like it. And uh, I'd recommend it to anybody who, you know, wants to have some fun. Just pass the time. You don't want to get into anything too serious. So, uh, just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you again right back here, same place.